Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International with me, Keith Johnston. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a letter of thanks and appreciation from His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, regarding His Majesty's speech during the Supreme Defence Council meeting. His Royal Highness the Premier extended deepest thanks and appreciation to His Majesty the King, praying to Allah the Almighty to bless him with health and happiness as to continue the process of progress for the Kingdom and its people. His Royal Highness expressed pride in His Majesty's speech, which demonstrated His Majesty's vision to carry the Kingdom forward through the process of comprehensive development. He highlighted His Majesty's successful policies to combat the coronavirus and mitigate its impacts. His Royal Highness praised His Majesty's initiative to honour Bahraini doctors for their sacrifices through the Cabinet's resolution to mark a Bahraini Doctors' Day in appreciation of the medical personnel's dedication in serving the health sector and protecting the health and safety of the citizens and residents. His Royal Highness said that the designation of the Bahraini Doctors' Day embodies His Majesty's keen support for all Bahrainis, noting that Bahrain has become a role model for fighting the pandemic in the health, economic and social fields. His Royal Highness expressed confidence in the ability of the Kingdom to overcome all challenges, stressing the government's drive for more progress and prosperity for the Kingdom and its people. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a cable of thanks and appreciation from the Minister of Interior, General Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, on the occasion of His Majesty's speech during the Supreme Council of Defence meeting. The Minister extended thanks and appreciation along with expressions of loyalty and commitment on this occasion and affirmed that the cadres of the Minister will remain steadfast on the front lines. The Minister expressed appreciation for His Majesty's praise for the Ministry and its cadres, renewed his commitment to expend every effort in maintaining the security and stability of the country and wished His Majesty lasting good health and happiness. The representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, National Security Advisor and Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, made a statement in which he expressed happiness over the achievement of the horse, a Dark Lion, at first place in the race at the Wolverhampton Circuit. His Highness said that this achievement reflects the keen interest and support of His Majesty the King in the sports field and affirms Bahrain's position on the international level. He added that the achievement also represents an incentive for further success. Dark Lion won first place after overtaking his opponents in the 1400 metre race. The Kingdom of Bahrain stressed the need for Security Council to take firm steps to deter Iran and extend the arms embargo that expires next October. This came in the letter sent by the permanent representative of the Kingdom of Bahrain to the United Nations in New York, Ambassador Jamal Fares al rawahi to the President of the Security Council, within the framework of the Ninth Report, issued by the UN Secretary General on the implementation of Resolution 2231 of 2015 on the Iranian nuclear file. In his letter, the permanent representative affirmed that the report of the Secretary General holds Iran directly responsible for the terrorist attacks that targeted two Aramco factories in Abqaiq and Kares in the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. He also held Iran responsible for targeting APA International Airport last year with cruise missiles and drones, adding that the report, based on irrefutable facts, proves Iran's dangerous and destabilizing role in the region and his continuous support for the terrorist Houthi group that threatens the safety of the civilians in the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. He called on the UN Security Council to take firm steps to deter Iran and extend the arms embargo until it complies with the international laws and norms and reconsiders its subversive plans that threaten regional and international peace and security. The Ministry of Health said today that the number of active coronavirus cases reached 5,159 with 22,583 total recoveries and 95 registered deaths. The Ministry of Health urges everyone to adhere to the rules and affirm the importance of following instructions, such as washing one's hands with soap on a regular basis, along with avoiding shaking hands and close contact. Moreover, covering the nose and mouth when sneezing and avoiding public spaces when possible. <laughs> 